understand the setup program of the Keeper Series Solar Controller, we first need to understand its button design logic. Unlike most controllers, the deal button design of the Keeper Series simplified the setup program, browse page and setting page hierarchy, making the operation more user-friendly. Long press the menu enter the next level interface or confer the selected option. Long press set exist interface without saving any change. Additionally, short press menu or set allows for switching option within the same program level. The current interface is the main page displayed after controller is powered on. On this page, we long press menu to enter the setup program. The first setting is the recharge voltage. When the battery voltage drops to this value after being fully charged, the controller will initiate a recharge for the battery. Next is the constant voltage charging voltage, also known as the boost charging voltage, which applies specifically to lead side battery. When the battery voltage reaches this value, the bulk charging stage will conclude and the transition into the boost charging stage. Next is the equalization charging setting. If the connected battery requires equalization charging, such as fluted lead side battery, you can set equalization charging voltage according to the actual equalization needs. If there is no need for equalization charging or the connected battery type does not support it, you can keep this value consistent with the constant voltage charging voltage. Following that is the setting for absorption charging voltage, which applies to cases where lithium battery are connected. When the lithium battery reaches this value, it will enter the absorption charging stage. Then comes the flow charging voltage setting. After the boost charging stage, the controller will maintain a weaker current flow to the battery at the flow charging voltage to sustain discharge. Next are the under voltage protection voltage and the under voltage recovery voltage. These two settings complete each other. When the battery voltage drops to the under voltage protection voltage, the controller will automatically shut down the output. When the battery voltage recovers to the under voltage recovery voltage, the load output will be allowed to resume. Next is the battery type setting. The available battery type options are Custom Mode 1, GEL battery, Cell lead side battery, Flow dead lead side battery, 4 series lithium iron phosphate battery. 5 series lithium iron phosphate battery, 3 series lithium battery, 4 series lithium battery, and custom mode 2. Custom mode 1 and custom mode 2 are used to customizing the parameter for lead side battery and lithium battery, respectively. If you select the lithium battery option, you will need to set the capacity of the connected battery. After selecting the battery type, you will enter the system voltage setting interface. The default option indicates automatic recognition of the system voltage. Or you can manually set it to 12 voltage or 24 voltage. Then comes the temperature compensation setting interface. The controller will select the temperature data through a temperature sensor. Next is the load operating mode setting. The load operating mode is used to set specific load activating modes and it include four options. 
the one indicates continuous 24 hours operation of the DC output. LD2 represents automatically shut off the DC output when solar input is detected. LD3 represents turns on the DC output when solar input stops and maintains it for a certain period of time. LD4 automatically turns on the DC output when solar input is detected. When LD3 is selected, the interface will switch to output duration setting. The first duration represents the period during which the load will be active after sunset. Why the second duration represents the period before sunrise when the load will be activated. Once the duration is configured, the next interface is used to confirm whether the load mode should be on or off. The final setting interface is reserved for future programs. Once completing the above settings, long press set to exist the setup program and return to the main page. This completes the configuration of the entire setup program of the controller. If you have any questions or uncertainties, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.